I know, I'm late. What's the matter? You forget how to get here since last week? Shut up and laugh me. You're all set. All set? Set. All right. Three, two. Every hour, another homicide. Every day, another mystery solved. While the odds are against America, you can help as we once again take you behind the crime. Welcome, I'm Amanda Lynch. Tonight, we return to Willow Park in Seattle, Washington to revisit the scene of a crime from last season. But this is no rerun. Another murder was committed here just last week. Last summer, Seattle City Council tore up a beautiful tennis court used and loved by its surrounding community, only to be replaced by this dangerous playground. Less than a week later, two teenagers were found here, murdered. Some believed the park was finally safe again, but the evidence of a teenage boy's murder last week has proven them wrong. While the body remains to be found, investigators may be able to find the killer by fingerprints. Now we'll be interviewing one of the surrounding neighbors, Maggie Sloan, for her take on the recent developments. I haven't let my kids play in the park since the first murders last year. It's too dangerous with the tennis court killer running around and all. And why do they call him the tennis court killer? Well, it's obvious that someone was upset that the tennis courts were pulled up last year. And it seems to me that person gets angry seeing kids having fun in the playground where they used to play tennis. You look like you play tennis regularly. Not so much anymore. Since I closed the courts, just come here to practice, really. Practicing without a court? So it was clearly a tennis enthusiast who committed the murders? Why would you say that? Because shards of a broken racket were found at the murder scene, suggesting a bludgeoning. There were? Shocking, but true. Clearly, the neighborhood suspects a tennis enthusiast. Evidence gathered suggests it was just before 11 p.m. when the murder took place. This would have given the killer just enough time to make it home for the televised Wimbledon tournament. Oh yeah, that looks like a piece of racket. Looks like a Wilson. A very clever murder, I should say, Mr. Roberts. A simple bludgeoning with plenty of open field through which to drag the body, leaving no trail. I guess so, but it doesn't make much sense to me. Do you have the time? I guess it's time for a new tennis court. There will be plenty of those in the state penitentiary, Tony. What's that? Could the mystery of the tennis court killer have solved itself? Or will the deathly racket swing again? Contact the FBI if you have any information that could close this case. Thank you, America. This is Amanda Lynch, Behind the Crime. Behind the crime. This will give us the highest ratings yet, I can tell. If we time it right, we can still get one more show out of this dumpy park. <laughs> We're still on for the mayor next week, right? Wednesday, count on it. This will give us another five-part series, I'm telling you. Great, see you then. <laughs>